Chancellor Rishi Sunak has delivered his spring statement, and with UK households facing the biggest financial squeeze in decades, here's what it means for you. The Chancellor is firstly sticking to his plans to increase national insurance from the 6th of April, but he's also announced plans to raise the threshold at which national insurance is paid to £12,570, which matches the income tax personal allowance. Now that's a long overdue simplification and it will soften the blow for some. But let's not forget the one and a quarter percent NI hike which is still coming in on 6 April. It's still in place and will cut hundreds of pounds from workers' take-home pay. Employers will feel the effects too as they also make contributions on behalf of staff. With petrol prices hitting record highs in recent months, more welcome news is the Chancellor's decision to reduce fuel duty by 5p a litre. With the average cost of a tank of petrol at nearly £91, this will mean around £2 off your bill on average. The Chancellor also announced that he will cut basic rate income tax for the first time in 16 years. The plan is to drop a penny from the basic rate of income tax from 20p in the pound to 19p in the pound. But this will only come into effect in 2024, assuming inflation, that's rising prices, is under control. Finally, there will be no VAT charged on greening your home, measures such as improving insulation or installing solar panels and heat pumps. And what didn't the Chancellor say? Well, capital gains was the notable elephant in the room, as was tax relief on pension contributions for higher earners and inheritance tax reform. These could all come under scrutiny in future budgets, so do make sure you make the most of pension tax relief and your annual allowances while you still can.